Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm playing House Sleeper again! Yay! Know you love it! <laughs> Time to get to flipping them houses. Uh, you know, I love flipping them houses. I love this game. It's so fun. Brings out my creative side. Alright, let's see what house we're going... Ooh, <laughs> running into a wall there. Forgot how to walk, y'all. <sighs> Let's see. We're going to do House in the Thicket. This house is $89,504.08. If you're looking for a house among the trees, then this is the ideal offer for you. This house for sale is in need of renovation and is located on a secluded forest plot. Highly recommended. <laughs> Oh, realtors, you can write such creative things for, like, the crappiest house ever. This says one of the re- Okay, let me read this. This house has laid dormant for so long it's almost completely overgrown. No tenant has spent too long there. However, many have left traces. Traces. Hmm. One of the reasons could be the lack of any plumbing? In short, it's hard to live without a bathroom. Uh, yeah. Who could live without a bathroom? I mean- you know, those are natural processes, and I'm sorry. Jess is not going outside to go to the bathroom. No, not happening. <laughs> Wonder if we'll find any poop in this house. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. I think this is one of the worst houses we've seen. Like, let me, let me clean up some of this trash out here. My god. Look at this shit. Some glitching going on here. Cement. What were they doing with cement? Like, I guess they had plans to make a driveway or something? I don't know. Let's head on into the glitchy house. <laughs> so, we have a garage with roaches. How do roaches get into your garage? Like, okay. My mind's blown. I'm sorry. Like, the tires make sense. The roaches? Not so much. Alright. Oh yeah, that's the front door. <laughs> I forgot which door I went in. I don't know what, what room is this supposed to be. It's, it's just a random room. With dirt piled inside. That's so weird. So this house is one of the ones that comes with the garden flipper. Um, so I guess that's like why there's so much weird stuff happening outside. More doors! Doors everywhere! I feel like this would have been a bathroom. This looks bathroomy. Well, holy crap! What were people doing in here? You know the way to get rid of roaches, y'all. You just fucking vacuum them up, that's all. You, you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to put any traps out or spray or call the orchid ban. Nope. You just vacuum them. And they just magically disappear forever. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make these roaches magically disappear forever. Oh, look. I destroyed the cockroach nest. My question is, what do you do with the vacuum full of roaches after you vacuum them up? Like, I don't know. This feels, like, suspicious. Wait. Did we just make a circle here? It looks like it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the garage. Huh. Well, first things first, let's sell all these fucking doors. And then this shit, because I guess, I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to put like some stuff there. I don't know. And what is this? 
It's like... Brick? Wait, what is it that we use to do this with? Oh yeah, the shovel. Because, yes, we're going to shovel this brick, dirt, whatever it is. Gravel? Maybe it's gravel. I don't know. We're going to shovel it all the way. And we're going to make a beautiful yard that is not full of that and lemon and lime bottles, apparently. Okay. <laughs> so, here we are. The house in the thicket is definitely in need of a little TLC. But just leave it to me and it will be looking spiffy. So, I will be back in a minute. See you then. And I'm back! You missed me, right? I know you did. Alright, so, here we go. Ta-da! Another fancy-ass car. I would have put it in the garage, but I don't know. For some reason, you can't put the cars in the garages. It's weird. But I guess it's like, because it's an outside item. I don't know. But yeah, this is the outside. It looks nice, right? It's not like messy. The grass is mowed. There's some landscaping. We got us a nice little garden over here. A little garden section. So nice. I told you I'm a landscaper, right? But only in this game. <laughs> More of my favorite type of flowers. <sighs> we got us a swing. Because no big, beautiful yard is complete without a swing. And, uh, yeah, so you remember those, like, X'd out, like, places that was, yeah, with the pal, I think was it a pallet, I guess? Pallet over the little space? Yeah, those are doors now, so, yeah. All right, let's go in this door here, because I think this is supposed to be, like, the actual front door. So we have a foyer here. With all kinds of pretty plants. Okay. I don't know if I've told this story before. But I have like the opposite of a green thumb. So I always call it a red thumb. Because I killed a cactus. Like I am so bad at keeping plants alive. And you're probably like, how did you kill a cactus, Jess? Well, I'm not entirely sure. Because I lived by college. So I think some people might have poured beer in my cactus because it was outside, but I'm not sure. But I never once watered it and it was like under a covered porch area, so it died of dehydration. So I have talent. I can kill a cactus by dehydration. I know. And then we have a half bath. Just a cute little half bath. And the kitchen! Which I think is really pretty. I I kind of wanted to do something a little different in here. Because like usually you put cabinets up. But I was like, you know what? Instead of cabinets, I'm going with shelves. And then all of the items are nicely laid out on the shelves. Actually, that apartment I was talking about with the cactus. It had a kitchen that was way smaller than this. Okay, it was like tiny little galley style kitchen. But it didn't have cabinets on the wall. It just had shelves like this. So yeah, it's very similar in that aspect. So uh, here we go. We got like a little snack bar. And this is our dining room. So pretty. Then we just kind of got a standard living room. And look, all of these doors, they open to the beautiful outdoor patio area. So cool. Okay, so we have this bedroom with the wacky looking carpet. And that is a really pretty like picture. I like that picture a lot. Um, and then there's a closet. Cool thing. Luxury flipper, which I didn't have when I started this house, they actually have like 
stuff to build closets with now. So excited about being able to do that in the house. <laughs> um, do we have this cool bathroom? Also, where can I get a mirror like this? Like a touch screen mirror that has like all kinds of data on it? Like shit, that's cool as hell. Um, I want one. <laughs> And so this little half bath area is kind of like Jack and Jill bathroom style because it leads into like the main bathroom area with a nice tub and shower and then back into another half bath area which leads into another bedroom. I feel like this is a teen's bedroom. It's very, very much has that vibe. And just another closet. Did I not carpet that closet? What the hell, Jess? Fail. And then this is the laundry room. You know, I couldn't have a house without a laundry room. Yep. And look, another half bath. So this is a two bedroom house. And it is... It has two half baths. Well, technically, I don't know. How do you count the Jack and Jill bath? Does that count as one full? Yeah, I guess we're going to count it as one full bath and then one half bath. So three half baths and one full bath for a two bedroom house. <laughs> wow. I might have gone a little crazy on the bathrooms. <laughs> Yeah, that's a uh, special. Okay, well, I think this house turned out fabulously. Good job, Jess. Give myself a pat on the back. Yay, me. Okay, um, and is the grass glitching back here? What is it with this house and being glitchy? I like this house so much, but it's just like glitch central. FYI, that kitchen that I built, like, originally I wanted to do, like, a snack bar kind of thing with, um, where there was actually, like, a divider between, like, right here where these lights are, but it kept glitching out the, what are these, cabinet <laughs> things? <laughs> Brain fart. So, yeah, uh glitchy ass house but it came together into something decent so all right i think that's enough for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed my beautiful house here the house in the thicket and i will see you guys next time make sure that you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button do it do it do it you know you want to and i'll see you later bye y'all